This is Alan here at NAB, and I'm with Dacia from Adobe of the After Effects team. Oh, hello. You got a new After Effects to 2019. Got so, so, so show me some cool stuff. Yeah, let's do it. So uh, for our latest release, we've got very exciting tool that we've been working on for a long time that people have been wishing for for a long time. We call it content aware fill. I call it magic. Oh, yeah. Oh, I've okay. heard about that. Heard of this. All right. So check out this shot here. We've got, you know, this beautiful drone shot. So lovely. Uh, and we've got a really hard working camera crew. Uh, but unfortunately, you know, I'm not really interested in seeing this guy in my shot, right? So what are we going to do? Uh, normally, if we needed to take this uh, car in its shadow out of this shot, it would really take a long time. Probably we wouldn't even want to shoot it this way. We'd probably do a drone shot first and do the car shot next because that would just take forever. I used to rotoscope it out frame at a time. One frame at a time. How long did that take you, sir? Long. Uh, Maybe a whole day. I mean, a long time. Yeah, a long time. A long, you could have been doing so much. You could have been editing your story down, doing all kinds of fun stuff, going on a walk, going to the movies. So check it out. Here we go. We just create a real loosey-goosey mask along this car in its shadow. Notice there's about 10 keyframes on it. We just manually did it. But of course, you have all of the After Effects tools at your disposal. So if you want to use the mask tracker, you want to use the rotoscoping tool, you want to use a luma mat, it doesn't matter, eraser tool. You just got to punch a hole in, con in, in your footage for content to wear fill to know what it's doing. So notice here, we got a little alpha channel going we got some transparency and uh i'm gonna look over here at our new panel called content to wear fill this is available just uh, along with any of our other tool panels over here and the second that it sees some transparency it knows that it's got some work to do okay. so we're going to set this fill method to object since it's a the car has dimension and whatnot it's a little bit different than its background and then we're going to hit this called this little button here that says generate fill layer and what this is going to do is going to make a map of all the pixels through time. And it's going to take into account the motion of the camera. Because what we know right now is, we don't know what's under the camera at frame one, but if we scan this footage up here a little bit more, I can see what was under the car, right? So basically what this is doing while it's making an analysis is just trying to make a reference of what pixels can it borrow from either earlier in the footage right. or later in the footage to fill in these gaps. Sort of like the old eraser tool in Photoshop. Or not the, the clone like tool. The clone tool. Clone right. tool. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So now we're rendering, we're cooking. Oh, look so, at that. Uh, we're look at that. In these gaps. We got something called uh, Priority Preview 2. You can skip around, it's going to start rendering that frame. So you don't even have to wait for the whole thing to finish to start seeing your results. But literally, in that amount of time, it has already processed a fill layer, which, if we just solo that layer real quick, all it is is a PNG sequence literally of just that area that we said we masked out that we punched a hole in and the car's gone i mean there are definitely some moments where you can so you know not, be so nitpicky and it's not perfect but for you know five seconds versus a whole day that's so not bad so you're not filling with uh video you're filling with actual images it's an image sequence, yeah, and it just it just is on the layer stack. It gets added to it. Uh, the image sequence is saved in a folder right next to your project. Uh, you can also choose in your preferences if you want a dedicated folder to that. We can make that happen too. I have another example here. Oh, okay. Uh, though, because that footage was an, a very ideal candidate, you know, yeah, there was a lot of uh, a lot of information to work with. Uh, but check this scene out. I've got this uh, period piece I'm making, Ireland in 1582, and you know I had to pull some some footage from stock, and uh, yeah, I don't I don't need her in my shot, right? right. So what are we gonna do? Uh, we <laughs> she's gone. Well, we rotoscoped her. She's gone because I forgot to do this. The magic of TV. There. Okay, so we rotoscope her out, but as we scrub through this footage, notice that we never really see what's behind her. So it's not going to be very helpful for content to wear fill because it's not going to have any 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 pixels to borrow from right. other parts, right? So what we can do is we can do what's called create a reference frame and then that's going to put me into Photoshop where I can use the tools that I've loved for years like my little clone stamp tool. I, I, I do too. And I go in there and I just start playing at this and since, you know, this is a demo and it's basically a magic cooking show, let's just pretend that I've been doing that for a while and boom, oh my gosh, 
Look at she's this. gone. She's gone. This looks really beautiful. And all, you know, I just did the one frame for that. So basically here we've given it, I'm going to solo these layers out. We are giving it a reference frame at the beginning and then at the very end ah. of the clip, right? So we're going to, because the camera moved a little bit, the edge of her dress moved a little bit. I just want to make sure that, you know, everything is cool. So it will motion track between them, all of that. Yeah, it's, it, it takes into account all the motion. We're just giving a little information. Here's some pixels that you can use to, to fill in those gaps. And then generate fill layer. Let's just pretend that that happened super fast. And I'm going to turn on this uh, roto layer again. So again, we see that transparency. And then a few short minutes later, here we are. And she's gone. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Well, she's not born yet. It's 1587. So <laughs> we went back in time. She's no longer with us. She hasn't been born yet. Very, very Yeah, good. so it's really cool. Oh, you know, uh, we're really proud of this. We hope it's going to save people a lot of time so they can go get back to the business of being creative and invest their those days, all those long hours on, on their story and making magic happen in other ways. Well, thank you for showing that to me. That's so that's awesome. I mean, cool. I'm very, very impressed. Awesome. Very, very impressed. Magic. Yes, magic indeed here at the Adobe booth. Uh, subscribe to Personal Views YouTube channel and we'll see you later.